March 3rd, 1972. The space orbiter Pioneer 10 took off with a message indicating the Earth's coordinates for the use of extraterrestrial beings. 2015. Quite a long time after having left the solar system, Pioneer 10 was continuing its cosmic journey when it was suddenly stopped in the middle of space and didn't emit anymore. Back on Earth, technicians suspected a transmission failure. How wrong they were. Someone had intercepted the Earth's foolhardy message and was about to use it for his own purpose. Red leader approaching. Keep the 579 course. Runway clear. Maintenance team needed in the central dome. Maintenance team needed. Commander, Lieutenant Darkill is here. Let her come in, please. Lieutenant Jessica Darkill, 11th Squadron. Yes, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. Let me introduce you to Major Karanov. As you know, the situation in New Babylon is critical. Only a few days and the repeated assaults of the Keshran will defeat our defense system. That is, if you can call it a defense system. Don't forget that before the war, New Babylon used to be a civil base, not a bastion. Major Karanov? Commander? Please go on. Explain to the Lieutenant why she is here today. Yes. Lieutenant, you probably know that the Keshran fleet just went into orbit around the Earth after the destruction of our colony on Mars. I know that Major Morgan and yourself did the best you could do. Major Karanov, please, let's simply go straight to the point. Thank you. Sorry, Commander. Lieutenant, we have just discovered what the Keshran are preparing around the Earth. Three hours ago, what is undoubtedly the flagship rejoined the rest of their armada. The flagship emerged into normal space beyond Pluto's orbit before getting into position at the Lagrange 5 point. Since then, the enemy forces have joined it. We can therefore expect the worst. Facing this threat, the High Command has decided to attack the Keshran flagship. For this operation, you and your squadron are assigned to the General Headquarters of the Manhattan Orbital Defense Forces of the Earth in New York. Thank you, Major. After the takeoff of your unit, the civil and scientific personnel of the base is going to be evacuated, helped in part by the 5th Squadron. You are in charge of guiding and protecting them until Manhattan. Do you have any questions? No, everything is clear, Commander. May I leave? Yes. Lieutenant? Jessica? Take care, all right? You too, Father. Don't worry, I'll see you later. Sometimes I wish I could avoid giving some orders. I know how much it costs you to assign such a mission to your own daughter, but it was the only solution you had. Lieutenant Darkheel is our best pilot, and she is also an excellent tactician. But maybe I should have avoided mentioning Major Morgan. Karanoff, I have spent my whole life trying to prepare her to face such events. But today, I would give anything to have her be somewhere else. God bless her, and may you forgive me. Engage.
fire. Engaged. Fire. Engaged.
Darkhill. Congratulations for today's performance. Really praiseworthy efficiency. Thank you, General. It's a shame that things didn't work out this way on Mars. Enough of useless regrets. The Funzai operation is going to start. All operational forces from the Earth will be gathered in order to break through the enemy lines and destroy the Keshran flagship. The squadron leaders are awaiting your order. What do you mean, my orders? You've been assigned to command the offensive. Major Darkhill. Major? Nobody deserves this promotion better than you. Your team will also be rewarded for its courage. Then I accept. But this time there will be no defeat. One last thing, Major. Our satellites picked up some radio messages transmitted during the battle on Mars. Some of them are from Major Kane. We thought you might like to listen to them. I thank you. We're going to leave you alone. See you in two hours in the command room. Damn it. I've been hit. What's going on? The satellites, they... To all units, clear the place. Clear the place. I arm. Uncontrollable vessel. Message for Lieutenant Darkhill. Jessica, no matter what happens, I'll always be on your side. My God, Morgan. How did I manage to survive? Major Darkhill speaking. Connect me with the General. Top priority. General speaking. General, we should have the ODS control system checked. I have a bad feeling. You're probably right. I was just told that we have a problem with the ODS. Apparently, it's impossible to control. The Keshran have probably damaged the system using an unknown computer virus. Certainly in order to deactivate our satellites. Or rather to control them. That's probably what happened during the battle on Mars. My team and I were in a higher orbit, and that's what saved us. General, we can't launch our counterattack as long as this damned virus is active. Otherwise, we will be destroyed by our own satellites. We have to destroy this damned virus. You're probably right. I'll let Captain Nakamura, our engineer, know. Meet her at Level 15, Research Department. Hi, I'm Major Darkhill. I know. I will do anything I can to help you. <laughs> 